And we are live. All right. What up? All right, all right, all right. Pineapple. Pineapple. Where's the way? He said, all right, all right. All right, all right. I guess he could get out outside. Your favorite podcast in the world. The world's most dangerous podcast. John. Jibbles. Yao Ming. We're sharing the podcast, of course, the, the Facebook feed into all the Facebook groups. Once we're done with that, we'll set up the podcast, mm -hmm. and then we will be ready to get started. Indeed. You're looking at maybe a couple minutes, maybe a couple seconds. Um, Royal Eye Candy Part 1, you're going to get this work. Um, MHRF, you're going to get this work. Simple Choice Destinations and Trips, Shouldn't the Addy, get this work. My Awesome Life, get this work. Game of Thrones Debate Group. You're going to get this word. <laughs> Blacks love Polly. You know, I'm into my Polly game with this thing. Get this work. Black international travelers. You could listen to this podcast while you're traveling. I think get so. this yeah. work. Get your Spotify, your Apple. Oh, Team Ashanti, Shani's World. Oh, Lord. That's no, Bay. You're to share definitely it. going to get this work. You're Bay. It's ready to go. It's starting. All right. So we are currently sharing everything on Facebook. If you're tuned in on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Anchor, or, um, or any of the other podcast sites, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. And um, we are officially starting. You didn't miss much. Um, Tori did do the national anthem before we no. started recording. You did? It. You did? It. Yes, you did. She sang it. It was great. That's all that you missed from uh, the beginning of the podcast. Um, let's go ahead and get this intro together. Crack my neck, crack my knee and my ankle. Um, <clears throat> me, 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 We'll be televised. I'm in the mayor, the righteous ratchet. If you throw it, I'll catch it. If you got it, I'll match it every Monday on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Anchor. We right back at it. Shout out that fantastic. You hear me? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tori Grace, a.k.a. the Blonde Bombshell. Forgot to hey! Oh! Hey! Hey! Okay. So we here. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of the above. Kickbackers TV at I am Tori Grace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're the man. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? Oh, yeah. I changed all of our social media this weekend. Boom. High five. And I changed it to... Kickback TV podcast. Okay. That works. Okay. So Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Christian Mingle, Black Planet. We ain't on MySpace. Christian Mingle. We are. No, I deleted so, that account yesterday. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, we used to be. Um, Swipe left on twi Tinder. And we're, 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 on, we're on Harvard's page too, thanks to uh, JB. Uh, yeah, so what's up, y'all? JB <laughs> Frank. <laughs> I'm that gangster geek man representing NWA Nerds with Attitude. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Monday. Oh, right. Yeah, to the people that's Monday to the people live. on Anchor, on Anchor Podcast, <laughs> Google Play, Spotify, and so on and so forth. Great way to start your week with the kickbackers, the kickback crew. And shout out to you. We affectionately call you guys the Deal with politics, pop culture, 
relationships, sex, sports, and um, stupid shit. Stupid shit. What if a kind of show? <laughs> We're the only podcast on earth with an F, earth, that deals with everything. Yes. Some podcasts you can go to for hip hop, and that's what they do. Some you can go to for sex, that's what they do. Some you can go to for politics, that's what they do. We do it all. Right. That's um, right. Tori's our pop culture expert, JB is our political expert, and I'm the sex expert. <laughs> Access denied. Yeah, yeah, I don't know Rejected. about all that. Rejected. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know what makes us so great? We're all real rounded. So we're all experts there across the board. Boom! That's how you keep your team happy. <laughs> so, um, y'all want to get right into it? Let's right. do it. Oh, shit. How you doing, Jimmy? I'm doing pretty good, actually. You know, I had the kids this weekend. It's been a gorgeous weekend. The weather has been hot. Um, so, yeah, just been enjoying the weather, kicking it out on the back deck, you know, having a ball. It's actually hot in here. Yeah, that's how you got shut the patio door. It's heavy. Yeah, I'm hoping to open the patio door so we can see it. I tried to shut it so we wouldn't get the outside noise, but I see we can't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Miss Grace. What up? How are you? Awake now. I had to okay. hang out with the homies last night. We had a uh, game night, so game a lot night. of screaming and yelling and drinking and more yelling and. Yeah, yeah. sounds more right. <laughs> like, it's really great that there wasn't a fight. Y'all must not have played spades. We didn't play spades. Yeah. We, you yeah. know, you yeah. gotta yeah. set the rules at the front door. No <laughs> fly zone. Don't play two draw twos on. <laughs> like you know, you gotta set all that up before they even come in the house. Mm -hmm. Set up all the rules. Keep the foolishness down. Yeah, man. Um, see, when Mika said, she was like, you, he, he just let one of us ask you how you doing. You ain't giving us a chance. And neither one of y'all asked me how I was. Um, so how are you, dude? And how was your weekend? I am doing smashing. My weekend was, it was, it was just like being at the old, the old country club. That's why everybody <laughs> asked me how he's doing. Yeah, that's, exactly, that's exactly why. Because he was doing shit. <laughs> Now, I had a pretty relaxing weekend. Um, I kicked with my god kids, JB's kids this weekend. Uh, even my god daughter Ari came over to uh, my side of the earth mm -hmm. and walked the dog. And I went out there with, with her and the dog and took pictures and posted them. Um, so I had a pretty good weekend. I didn't do much of anything because physical therapy kicked my ass Friday. Both of them, now, y'all know I broke my left ankle, but both of my legs are sore. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I could barely walk, because, not even because of the ankle, but just because of the soreness. Like, they had me lifting weights. I had my rocking music going. I was like, ah! Like, write the kid music. You're the best around. Sweep the leg. And no one's good enough to keep you down. You're the best. We're going to sweep the leg. Mm -hmm. Sweep the leg, Johnny. No mercy. Um, but I feel good. I got on shorts today. Yeah. If y'all yeah. can't, I don't know if y'all can see. But I, I went hard with the boot. Like, fuck, I'm with shorts with the boot and make a fashion statement. The girls was like, ooh, look at him. I was like, yeah, look at me. No. <laughs> anyway. Well, yeah. okay, well, let's start the podcast. Okay. Um, our hot story of the day is <sighs> JB's favorite brand in the world, um, Gucci. No longer. No and Chori's favorite pizza in the world, Papa John's. That is not they that have, cardboard stuff. That's not my favorite. Pizza. Oh, oh, both of you gonna deny it now? That's really? why you know I gotta buy okay. one get one free pizza card in my bag right now for Domino's. It is not Papa John's. Do mm -hmm. I need to pull it out to validate? Uh, no, I believe you. <laughs> nah, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It tastes like cardboard with pepperoni on it. <laughs> Damn. I, I, I would assume that's accurate. The only Except thing that's good about pepperoni. them is the garlic sauce. So, yeah, I used to like that when I was younger, but I I, I shot with Papa John's about a decade ago. It wasn't even for any other reason. That I just taste. didn't like it. Yeah, right. right. Um, so what else? Uh, the, the, the heck you think about me doing that shit? <laughs> well, um, pa Papa John's and Gucci have both made attempts to quote unquote right their wrongs. Yeah, Gucci is offered a five million dollars for diversity, whatever that means. Yeah. Um, inclusion. Diversity and inclusion. Yeah. Uh, to include all ethnicities. Mm. Um, if you're a fashion brand, how do you exclude? 
<laughs> all ethnicities. I mean, fashion is not, it's not for one particular, it's worldwide. It's not supposed to be. Theoretically, yeah. Theoretically. Yeah, I'm, you know, it, it's just all weird though, because I mean, they didn't insult, they didn't insult all ethnicities. They insulted one, one. particular. Right, yeah. and they should address that spe yeah. specifically. Yeah, why, why are we, why are we talking Thank about you. including? <laughs> yeah. I didn't say specifically. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It just bothers me that they waited so long. Like, if you're a, a nationwide, international brand, that should be something that you include with your designers and your team in the first place. You shouldn't wait until after an oops, oh shit, and I fell back in it moment. You mm -hmm. should take care of that beforehand. Like, who approved this? So, you telling me your designer and your team that is market research and development, they all approved this without thinking? At how? I'm starting to think it's uh, what we talked about before, where it's the whole shock value promotion, yeah, the offensive promotion. Like we're gonna do this, it's gonna offend you. We're gonna apologize. We're gonna win you back, and then we're gonna grow even bigger. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to think that because you, you kind of start feeling like you're not that dumb. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. why? I think did people you do are this? that dumb though. Like mm. I I really do Great. think that you have people that are just not aware of how offensive certain stuff is. I mean, think about how they had, like, the daggone lady, the senator, she had the whole shelf of the Auntie Mama looking things at the back of her. You knew it was offensive, so why would you shoot live in your kitchen where you know you got these little offensive slave looking things behind you? Like, you, you have to be aware of, especially in your being a face of a brand or you're developing something. I can't make something that is going to offend a Caucasian person because oh, I just feel like it. I'm going to do some shock value. I don't have enough money to pay for that. I really don't. Like, at some point in time, you got to kind of mm, step back, follow, fix it. What do you do to fix it? Yeah. Um, I wonder if if it's a, a blatant disregard for what's right and it's like, fuck y'all gonna do what we want, or is it a thing where it's more like, I know we can get away with this, but it, it's open. <laughs> I think it might be a, let me see how far I can go before Hi. Hi. somebody stops me. Let, me. let me see if this is really gonna offend before I take care of it. I, I agree with you when you were saying you think it's gonna be uh oh well let's see what happens. I'm gonna shock you with my designs. It's so geeked up, like this is amazing. Let's see how people are gonna take mm, you could have just done a black, a whole black turtleneck pulled up and done a robber sweater. Why does it have to have the red lips knowing that that's what was offensive to black people? Like Yeah, and Gucci's colors are red, black, and green. It could have been green lips and then and then we wouldn't have probably wouldn't even throw nothing about mm -hmm. it. Um, but I think you have to be conscious and you have to be aware, like, hey, man, we, we can't do whatever we want. And I think they got to the point where they're like, man, what they gonna say? Cause, right. Because I, and I will take this one moment, I never do this, but I'll take this one moment to put it on us and say, because we don't complain about shit, we don't boycott shit. Floyd Mayweather, cool and ass, still saying he gonna wear Gucci. Call that black cool and ass, still saying he gonna wear it. Yeah. So it's like, you can do all of this, offend us, and get us all up in arms, and we're still. They're still, still the wealthiest of us are mm -hmm. still saying, I'm going to support it. I just, I'm thankful that, uh, what is it, Diddy and Jay-Z are getting together to put together the app to, mm -hmm. to buy black. So yeah. if, if that's the way that people are going to treat us, like, oh, it doesn't really matter. We're going to use you to profit our business. Like, at some point in time, we as black people have to say, you know, we've had enough of this. This, this is enough. Let's just buy black. We have a trillion dollar buying power. Just why do you have to wear Gucci in the first place? It's not even that hot. Like, yeah, certain. It's, it's certainly not dealing. It's certainly not worth dealing with the bullshit at this point. You know, I was a Gucci fan. Like, I bought, I bought lots of Gucci stuff. Not anymore. You know, it's, there's other stuff to buy. Whatever. You know, you know, act like that. Then I don't need it in my life. But how do we get through to people in Shia's generation? They're like, I don't care. I'm just going to wear it anyway. Ah! 
How do we reach out, Sean? How do we reach your generation? I don't know. I mean, I feel like my generation going to do what they want anyways. They don't care about the racism, so it's going to be like, oh, this look good with these shoes, so just wear it. Just, it. just go with it. All right. Yeah. I mean, I'm, 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 trying, I'm not trying to lead you, but I do want to ask you a, a question that's kind of leading. It's, it's turning up. But is that our fault? Did we not give y'all the game and be like, nah, we don't do that kind of shit? Or is it y'all like, we don't give a fuck what y'all told us. We gonna do what we want to do. Basically, yeah. Y'all just reckless. Just yeah, reckless. Goddamn millennials. <laughs> y'all don't care about nothing. I, I just see that one and I buy it. You never heard that song? Yeah. I don't know what yeah. happened. It's like the parenting went to the left at some particular point in time where it sure. wasn't something that it's almost like it's, well, I couldn't have it when I was growing up, so my kids gonna get whatever it is that they want, and I'm gonna tell them don't take shit from anybody. That's fine to a certain extent, but you still have to remind your child of who they are and where they came from. Yeah. You you can buy whatever you want, whenever you want, and however you want, but, but don't... these choices, though. Right, and don't sell yourself. Like, it's too many designers out there. It's too many... Like, if you're gonna get whatever you want, then have somebody custom to design something for you. Why do you have to sell yourself to be fashionable? I mean, what, what they got the Walmart drip challenge where kids are running. I'm serious. They got folks running around buying outfits from Walmart, putting them together like, yo, look, I bought my outfit for $25 and I still look fly. Let's do the Walmart drip challenge, the Target drip challenge. How about you pull a sewing machine out and sew that shit yourself challenge? Let's do something different. Let's buy black. Let's do something. Let's take the power back. Let's not buy Gucci in. And I, and I do, I'm a big Gucci fan. Um, what well, was. But I mean, it's just other things to buy. Exactly. Like, so I saw T.I. went up on a young dude wearing Gucci. Like, come on, man. I'm, like, I'm T.I. I'm fly as shit right now. Look at my outfit. It ain't Gucci, though. I'm not wearing that. But what makes Gucci so fly to the point where you're going to go buy it? Like, what is it about that I don't Gucci? Know. It's, just it, it, it's recognition. It's clout. It's clout. But it's clout in other brands. There's plenty of other brands yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah, so what? True. What makes Louis Vuitton, Gucci? What makes what makes these companies that hot that you're gonna spend five hundred dollars on a white T-shirt? Yeah. I, well, with me, I'm, to be perfectly honest, in like in my neighborhood, um, Gucci and Louis were considered like the two biggest brands. And I'm from D.C. where we have local black owned businesses Tons. and some of those creep up into the top five so it might be gucci louis you know saviato madness it would be you know something that we have so it was always mixed in there but niggas always knew that gucci was a little bit different as far as esteem as far it's as clout but now, i don't know why i don't know that it should matter now well after what they've done now prior to that i understood it after what they've done, I don't understand the. It's like people say, I'm gonna steal this from R. Kelly no matter what. Like, all right, nigga, we know his great music is great. Nobody's stupid. But we're not supporting it right now. Exactly. Yeah. So it's when people say, I'm gonna listen to R. Kelly no matter what happened. And they say, I'm gonna wear Gucci no matter what happened. I start going, whoa. Like, that don't make sense to me because right. you, you can be in love with somebody. Like, I'm gonna love him no matter what. And then they, they do that what? And you're like, oh. That what need to have a yeah, butt right good. with it. <laughs> right, right, right. And a pre preferably two butts from two uh, new women, so you ain't got to worry about her punk ass and shit she doing. So you can just move on with your life and just be having sex and having fun. Right, you ain't got to worry about motherfuckers trying to play you. took that person. That's a personal problem. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I got distracted. I got distracted. Yeah. Bring it back. Oh, I'm going to tie yeah. Alright, so we're talking about Gucci. So now we got Papa John's that has yeah. a similar situation. Just trying to, yeah, trying the, to save face. And it's, the whole, what was it? He's the president slash owner slash yeah. inventor of Papa John's mm -hmm. came out and in essence was like, my pizza was not for you. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's food. Right. Lord, so help me. Yeah. <laughs> my about? pizza is not for you. And in you, he said, niggas. And I hate that. How is a food not for someone? It's food. It's just stupid. It's just an asinine thing to say. I mean, his business, is, his business has been failing, falling since then. And here comes Super Shaq. Shaq. 
to save the day. Shaq, the we love you, homie, but why? Of all places, you couldn't have found a Matteo's, a Marco's, a some Jets. other brand, Jets Pizza, somebody. Jets got good subs. Jets is like, that, that, that's, that's a true piece. That's, that's I haven't had your subs yet. Their subs, oh, subs are, are good. Fire. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, they're really good. Yeah, who need a sub? They're really good. Uh, Shaq, we yeah. know you was bomb with your daggum sponsorship and branding. Like you say, gold bond. Like mm -hmm. they little itching powder was about gone. Mm -hmm. Why are you saving Papa John's? I think that's the most important question. Why are you saving Papa John's? Um, I understand sometimes we have the mentality if you want to change something, you got to go get within and then change it. And it, it could be a gold mine to him. But I'm thinking, really, like, we're not supporting Papa John's even with Shaq. You can braid your nigger in front of us. Mm -hmm. I'm still not supporting your brand. And unfortunately, that that's what it's saying. And, and that one got me looking yeah. at Shaq crazy. And I respect Shaq. Shaq goes around giving out money. Shaq goes to a restaurant, he'll get it a weight of $500 in, in the tip. Shaq made Shaq. shoes for single mamas. So that they could buy shoes for their kids and a good shoe for not a whole lot of money. So I know the man has to, he got sense. Right. This move, I just don't agree with. You could look at it it's similar to when Magic Johnson started buying up the Denny's. Yeah. The Denny's was racist and all of that. And then Magic Johnson started, he purchased like 10 Denny's and then they changed the perception of Denny's. I get that. I don't respect that too much, though. Mm -hmm. Papa John's crossed a, 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 line, a, line a line in their corporate structure. Not one restaurant that had an incident. But the it owner is the, the owner. owner. So I'm like, why are we saving them? He, he so, stepped off the board, but he's still the owner. So how right. do you, you can't fix that. That's not a racist employee and you fired them and they're gone forever. You can fix it from there. This mm -hmm. is a whole... He owns the company. How do you, yeah. you can't fix that. He yeah. owns the company, built it from the ground up. So the whole infrastructure has got to be filled with people who think and act and move like him. So you, I mean, just throwing your one token into that mix is not going to fix a whole organization that's mm -hmm. built from the top down from it's the built races. races down. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about here? It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, Shaq will probably come up off of it though. He'll probably make a little. Pretty He's gonna penny make some it. money. Yeah. He gonna do, fix do you think it. people will go back to it? Some idiots will. Yeah. They're going to the same way Gucci didn't lose certain people. It, mm -hmm. It's still gonna keep people in. Some people are so loyal to Shaq that they're gonna go back to Papa John's. Mm -hmm. And it's just the way that it's like it's a bunch of sheep. People can't think for themselves. They see seven people going that direction. They're just going to walk in that direction just mm -hmm. because everybody else is. Mm -hmm. People don't know yeah. how to think for themselves anymore. They're too busy clicking on social media that they can't think. Like, logically, how does that make sense that you go back to a company that straight up said, my pizza's not for you? It doesn't change because he stepped off the board of directors. He's still the owner. Like, unless somebody's coming in to buy him out. And that's... My thing is, we were crippling Papa John's. Like they said some fucked up shit. We weren't buying that pizza. They are suffering. Yep. They are struggling. It is a business in decline. The boycott finally fucking worked. Our NFL boycott did not work. Our Gucci boycott did not work. When um when Sha said she was boycotting the Korean hairdressers, it didn't work. The one boycott that actually fucking worked was Papa John's. And here comes Shaq big ass saving them. That's my issue with it. Captain Saban. That's my issue with it, is that the one time we actually hurt a business, he's coming to save them. And I, and I do understand that there are some people who think, if you want to change it, we got to change it from the inside. But why not Shaq go to another piece of company like we said earlier and build them up and shut down uh, Papa John's all together? Or why didn't they hire somebody that they knew that was Caucasian, that is not Shaq, because at this, like you said, you parading the monkey in front of everyone. That's literally what it is. So why couldn't you go hire a white person that you, go hire Martha Stewart, somebody you know she hanging out with Snoop Dogg on the weekend. <laughs> go hire her to say, you know what, we gonna fix this, we gonna fix your nasty ass pizza, cause I can cook, 
and we're gonna fix this. Like, why couldn't you hire somebody like Martha Stewart to be the new face of the company? You hired a whole black person, so at this time, I'm extra offended right now. Yeah, I mean, Papa John's is just, a, it's one of those places that needs to disappear. They're, they're behind the times in a variety of different aspects, like, their app is, I don't even know that they have an app. They, so they don't do they pizza online delivery. Um, yeah, their pizza tastes, their crust tastes like cardboard. Their toppings mm -hmm. are disgusting. Um, this place just needs to go away. Um, you know, they don't have a lot of good locations. They're just mm -hmm. trash. So, and, you know, mm -hmm. move, moving on and whatever. Shaq will do his little advertisements. I could just see his cooning ass smile right now on the TV trying to sell me gonna pieces. shake it with some yeah. gold bun and yeah whatever like dude, let's just you know <laughs> i just peeped jimmy going on shades it's sunny outside but you're we inside, inside. We inside. Like, it's sunny outside i'm a rock star <laughs> shut up where are you telling all that i just looked at, <laughs> i looked at the video was like, wait he said he had shades? his kids all weekend that's a reason for some shade. <laughs> ah, <laughs> good point good point good point um, so that, that's just weird. I'm not supporting Papa John's and I'm not supporting I'm not buying pizza. Mm -hmm. So we will move on yeah. beyond yes. them. And we'll get into JB's ex-girlfriend, um, um, Jess Hilarious. And my left stroke just went viral. Okay, guys. Our viral, <laughs> good job. Oh. Our viral story of the day. Jess Hilarious was getting on an airplane and noticed four Sikh men who had on turbans getting on and she videotaped them saying she was afraid, which I think was supposed to be a comedy, impromptu comedy sketch, like, let me be funny right now. And then those four gentlemen wound up being escorted from the plane. We which don't know why, why, but they were escorted from the plane. And um, uh, ultimately, she received a lot of backlash from Black Twitter, saying, "Hey man, like, why are you making these racist comments? Why are you being, you know, why are you, you know, being a xenophobe, discriminating against people from different countries? Like, why are you doing this stupid shit?" And her response was kind of like, "Hey, they got a scooter off the plane. I was right, motherfucker." As the say it right, she said, "Fuck you like seventeen times. Okay, fuck you, you fuck you, fuck you. Mm, no, fuck you." <laughs> Br bring, bring it down, Tori. With your nappy ass head. Oh, she was looking fugly. In She's yeah. always fugly. She's that, that's why everybody's always going in on her. Like, you're not that funny. She's the fact funny that you're mm -hmm. a black woman, a black woman, and you sat over here and attacked these people. How would you feel if somebody recorded you walking into CVS? Like, oh my God, I fear for my life. This black bitch with weave is walking in. She got her eyebrows done and I'm scared. She's going to attack me. Fuck you for saying anything about her because, you know, look, just look at her. Just look at her. Look at the crime rates and the statistics. Look at where she's from. Let's, oh my God, I fear for my, how would you feel, Jess? You wouldn't be happy about it. So why are you going to do the same thing to somebody else that's done to you on a regular basis? I don't have nothing else to say because I, I, I sometimes feel uncomfortable going at sisters. Oh, I'll do, do it for you. Yeah, hand it to You were stupid. Toy. You were yeah. stupid. Like, yeah. I really do not appreciate you for doing that, especially seeing as I got two brown brothers on the side of me. You know, one of them already said what his name is. Why would you come in somebody sideways like that? I am speaking directly to Jess. Your apology was fake as hell. You apologize because you're trying to get your ass not canceled off the TV show that has not started for the second season. You're trying mm -hmm. to save your career. It's too late for that. We don't want to look at you with your ugly ass, with your oh. old bald-headed looking oh. ass. Uh, oh. Ain't everybody always going in on her anyway? Yeah. With her five head looking ass, with your <laughs> extra McDonald's arch looking ass, with wow. your damn eyebrows looking ass. Ain't nobody paying attention to you. Your apology is not accepted. We don't appreciate it. There it is. We don't. There it is. Is there any, what can she do to get back in good graces? No, is there she, anything she's done. done? Forever? She's done. For the rest of her life? Stick a fork in her. Does she 90? She's done. Well, she's like 75 she's years done. old. <laughs> she's done. <laughs> no, it's just she's done. done. It's just, it's over with. Like, if we not going to give a Caucasian person a second, third, fourth, and fifth chance, she knew better. She's brown. She's certainly not going to get a second chance. That's she brutal. is brown, just like me, just like you. 
she's done. And if y'all continue true. to support her, y'all just as stupid as she is. Yeah. An apology is not going to work. If we're not going to accept an apology from uh, Gucci and from Papa John's, then we're not going to accept one from her. Let's go, let's go there. We'll, uh, cancel culture. Where we just get rid of motherfuckers forever and no, no redemption. Um, what do you guys think about that? Is that how it should be? Just like you fucked Somebody up, else? that's it for the rest of your life. And fuck you Where's forever. Tiffany Haddish? We're just going to support her more. We just gonna support Tiffany Haddish. Forget Jess. There's always somebody else that couldn't do it because she was in the spot. Replace her. So, damn. So it, it, there's no coming back. I mean, so I think come one more time when JB said some shit that was controversial and then it was canceling him. He he was forgiven. And came Con back. Controversial is one thing. Thank you. Being completely and blatantly disrespectful. That's a whole other situation. Because again, if she was walking into the Lexus dealership and somebody went screaming, JB, I fear for my life. Look at the black man right there walking in to buy a car. I don't feel safe. You gonna snap. So if we can't do it or somebody can't do it to us, why are we gonna give her a pass because she's black? I'm torn on that because I, I do, you know, feel like, you know, like I, I despise the level of ignorance. But I do believe it's ignorance, and I do believe pe pe some people can learn. And I don't know if canceling people af after their first mistake is... Her first mistake was the first video. Well, the yeah. video after that, that she went in saying, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, after yeah. people told her, don't do it, yeah. that was showing she's past ignorance. She doesn't get to get another pass. If she had done the first video and stopped and taking the shit down and came with the apology immediately afterwards, I could have understood and said, okay, let's give her a pass. But the fact that you made a whole second video validating your first video for yourself, no. Damn. Um, for if, you guys if somebody out there said on... that shit to my son and was like, oh my God, a little black boy walked into the building, I feel for my life, and then tried to validate the reason why they were making the video, I'm going to kick their ass. Don't You don't get, no. No apologies. To, to our viewers on uh, YouTube and Facebook and our listeners that are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Christian Mingle, if you guys can respond to us and let us know, what are your thoughts on cancel culture? Because I, I'm afraid that we're going to, like, if we had canceled Malcolm X when he was pimping women, <laughs> he would have never been Malcolm X that was saving black people. If we had canceled JB, Back when he was going around killing, I'm not going to mention everything Goldfish. he did. Goldfish. Yeah, I'm not going to mention everything he did, mm -hmm. but if we had canceled him then, we wouldn't have the gangster geek right there now. There he goes, there he goes so, lying on me again, y'all. There he goes lying on me. I'm I think, just saying. I think that there's a road back to redemption, but it involves you redeeming yourself, right? And because mm -hmm. that so rarely happens, I think the penalty needs to be severe to incite that type of repentance. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. So you know, there sorry. is a way. There yeah. is a way back, but it is a hell of a lot. It is a hell of a lot more involved than just "oh my bad," you know. Um, so let's, let's. I mean, if you know, every white person turned around and said, "I'm sorry for the 400 years of slavery," oh, no, are no. we gonna let that get a pass? No. no. Okay. <laughs> But can we, compare, <laughs> can we compare with Jesse's ignorant video to 400 years of slavery? They it's, it's still the doing us the same way she just did somebody I know, that is I know, of, I know. I'm just, I'm, I'm really searching hard what, for a what way was back it? to redemption. 9 11 happened how many years ago? And you yeah, acted I mean, just as ignorant as the white secretary that was spitting at the black people in Walmart. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to find a way to get people no to have a way to mm -hmm. redeem themselves. She ain't got so no what do you think? You're from the cancel culture, the younger generation. You canceling everybody? What you doing? Yeah, I feel like we should cancel it because she know what's right and what's wrong. Like she said, slavery. But yeah, if she is, get them up out of there. You gotta if go, she gotta walked go. in, if like so, somebody needs to go record her ass and be like, "Oh my God, it's a black bitch walking into the store right now. I feel for my life. Grab your purse. Hold on. She gonna be pissed. I'm exactly. telling you, she'll be pissed." Jess, I feel harder for you than I wanted to. I'm not fighting any harder. Please um, stop. Yeah, I'm just not fighting any harder. Worth it. <laughs> so moving on, our what the fuck story of this week? Absolutely crazy. 
This is um, Shy's uncle, um, Austin Sheffield, um, and not to make a joke of it, because this is actually very serious. Um, he's a bartender that was trying to get a particular parking space, and a black woman was letting out one of her friends um, in front of that space, and and because she didn't move the car quick enough, he got out, started arguing with her, verbally attacked her, um, he pulled out a gun, and went on to uh, verbally assault her. She grabbed her cell phone and called the police. He smacked the cell phone out of her hand. She pushed him like, what the hell are you doing? And he proceeded to beat the shit out of her, punching her in her face multiple times. Where was this at? I want to say it was Florida. I was going to say, I think it's Florida. Yeah, it's in Florida. And um, white man, um, and I have a particular issue with anybody beating a black woman. But I have a, it's a different thing when it's a white man beating a black woman. And it goes even further when it's a white man beating a black woman over okay. her defending herself over a parking space. Um, so oh, he was arrested. Yeah, he was arrested. And I want to see what kind of time he does. But I also want to say this out to my brothers in Florida and in the um, correctional facilities, penitentiaries. This motherfucker, if he makes it to trial, yeah. he, he, should, he should be like me. He should have broken ankle. He should be worse off than me. He should have broken everything. It's we, we as black men, and I, I, I know we're talking about what this white man did, so I'm not absolving him of any guilt. But I want to speak to my brothers and say really quickly, people were videotaping this. It's always yeah. videotaping this situation. Why are you videotaping this instead of fighting? Yeah. And I, I mean, I understand he had a gun, but we in Florida, I don't know, everybody, niggas got guns. I'm my just like, dog, said, like, we got a... <laughs> my brother said there are not that many men left. And that's what the issue is. Again, we are in a day and age of, let me pull my cell phone out because I want my video to go viral. I want everybody to think this. Are you getting paid for the viral video? Nope. So why in the hell... Are you trying to make a video go viral if you're not getting a check? And why is that more important? Why is that more important than the pain and suffering of this woman who is being victimized before your very eyes? Like, come on, y'all. Let, let's be human beings to each other. This is ridiculous. Um, I was raised that if I see a woman in danger or if I see something going down like that, I'm going to do everything I can to stop it. At a minimum, I'm saying, hey, get the fuck off of her. Stop that shit. I mean, pull what your are you doing? Up on them. Like, God dang, you got a whole vehicle. If you got a phone in your hand and you can record it, you can call the police on this dude. You know? Yeah, and that's a fair point, JB. You can at least, at the very least, call the police. But I'm expecting a lot more. Like, I, I mean, you, you never want to be the, 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 like, if I was there, I would have, because, you know, in situations, you never really know what you'll do. Right. Um, exactly. But I, I, I cannot imagine a scenario where there's a black woman being beaten up by a white man that I'm not in that situation. Now, maybe I don't win that fight. Maybe he'd be both our hands. I don't know. But uh, he's going to have to beat both our hands, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to jump into that shit. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, it's unacceptable. I wasn't raised that way as a man. I wasn't raised that way as a boy. Thank you. My but entire you know life, I have been taught to protect. What you just said, you just said you weren't raised that way as a man. We're not raising men anymore. We're raising babies. Mm. That's where the issue is. Mm. There's no gender specified role. It, it's, mm. I can take care of this myself. I don't need no man. Nope, I don't want to. I don't want to change my tire. I want you to do it. Mm -hmm. I can change my tire. I was taught how to change my tire, but I don't want to. I want you to do it. <laughs> and because y'all don't know which side I'm sitting on, you don't know if you need to be Captain Save a Ho or let that bitch do it herself. Mm. So, unfortunately, because we're doing such a... Maybe that's why it's so many recorded videos and not so much intervention. Because we don't need men. I'm saying we as females, but no, nah, I don't want to do that shit. Uh, 
and y'all don't know when it is or isn't okay to step into a situation because you don't know i don't need you motherfucker you don't know if that's what you're about to catch you don't know if this is a domestic violence situation to step in you don't know you have no clue anymore because of how things are being done Boys aren't boys, girls aren't girls, everybody's gender neutral, gender fluid. Today I feel like being a boy and a girl, you don't know what you're stepping into. So maybe that's what the issue is. Maybe that's why we're not seeing men protect women anymore. Because you don't know if she's a girl today or if she's a boy tomorrow. <laughs> and I mean, that's no offense to anybody that wants to be whatever you are. All I'm saying is maybe that's why you don't see men stepping in. Real talk, though, that's, 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 that's a valid point. Um, I, I, can, I can't imagine seeing anybody getting, getting you know, break speed off of them, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, okay. But if you a saw fight. a dude getting punched in the face, you, you're you less likely to step in than if it was a woman. If I saw a dude just get punched in the face, I would expect him to swing back, and I would expect that to be a But if he does not, he does not. If he's getting the shit beat out of him, I'm, pro I'm probably going to be like, hey, hey. Whoa, yo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You know what the what the? You fuck? won already, nigga. You won. Like, what the fuck? Let is him go. Let him go. Yeah, you like, won. like you stop. Won. Like I'm not going to sit there and watch because we're talking about like people don't realize like a fight can lead to a death. It <laughs> like it really can. Yeah. Like I'm not going to sit there and watch somebody potentially be murdered before my very eyes. Like I'm just not going to do it. And maybe it's because I was raised. Differently, like you See, said, that a lot of people you was would be raised. We yeah. trying to do too many gender neutral, too many. Yeah, you, you're look. That I'm might a woman. Be right. I'm not built like these two. I don't have what they have. There's no way on the planet I can lift 95 pounds just because I feel like it for today. It's not gonna happen. Like. Y'all can say whatever you want, and I know I'm probably going to get all kinds of tweets and DMs <laughs> and everything, but at the end of the day, what you were born with, it doesn't matter how you feel when you get up in the morning. If you, Unless you're taking hormone injections or whatever it is for you to be, whatever gender you feel like for the day, you are not born to do it. Period. And, I mean... I don't want somebody to look at me and be like, oh, she's some kind of feminist ass bitch. I'm not helping her because women don't need no men. That's not how I was raised. My mom and dad were married for 35 years. No, come change my tire. Thanks. <laughs> and really quickly, shout out to everybody watching on Facebook Watch Party. I just threw us in a watch party and people are joining in like shit. So shout out to y'all for joining in and shout out to everybody who's watching it live on Facebook. And shout out to everybody who's watching on YouTube on Monday. And shout out to everybody who's streaming on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, and Christian Mingle. We appreciate y'all. And Black Planet, the Solange. Um, hey, that's, uh, don't do Solange. Though. Hey, hey Solange. We can't get with Solange. That's my people. We, 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 we went to her party in New Orleans three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, so like, shout out to Solange. I, I miss you too, boo. Don't tell us Shanti. Don't tell the shots. But um, moving somebody, on. Like somebody copy and paste that and like just no, run it. No. Tie some no, music on it. Like no. mix it, remix it, DC mix it. Mm -hmm. go go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, JB's old choir mate, Daniel Caesar. You are such an asshole. For <sighs> Um, but is he, he gets, really? Because you know we got to ask these questions at this particular point. <laughs> Our uh, Donald <laughs> Trump <laughs> Shut Up Stupid Award goes to Daniel Caesar. <laughs> and um, his advice for the black community. Does anybody want to take this story and break this bullshit down? No, because I, I haven't seen too many videos of this over the last week of different shit. I saw a white dude trying to tell a black woman how to wash his hair yesterday, and I was like, what the fuck? I'm done. I'm done. What? I can't, I can't, I can't deal with this. If you are not black, don't tell me how to act. I need a shirt. Well, what, 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 what is he? I mean, he's from, from Canada, but he look like us. He's not 
Do, do, do we do we not? So do we give him the Coon Award instead of being the Donald Trump stupid? <laughs> oh, well, well, he, he, needs, he needs to yeah. shut up. So he needs to shut up. Stupid. He needs to shut up. I mean, basic, basically, he's doing the same. Bull. I mean, we've heard other people try this shit before. Um, it's extremely insensitive. Black people don't play the victim. Black people, you know, get up off your ass. A lot of you, a lot of what we're dealing with is, is you know, you know, because we won't, we won't get up and do. And it, it was just a bunch of ranting bullshit. I have a you question. know, is he military? No, he's young. He's uh, like 23 years old. He's just a young, presumably is, black is boy from re- Canada. Is he Republican? He's from Canada. He's from Canada. Okay, so that's just like part Shad. of it. They're both from Canada. So what I notice a lot of the times is people that are not from the United States that experience the things that we experience, and I can't even speak on it because I'm not a black male. I know y'all experience racism more than black females do. Thank you for saying that. Thank so, you for saying yeah. that. I got boys. When I tell you I'm gonna be in jail, I swear to God. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> I pray I'm not. But me being a black female, I don't experience the same kind of racism that you guys do. So is it because he's from another country, you think, with him also being in the younger age range of you just didn't live that life on top of not being from the United States where you can get the police called on you for barbecuing? Do you think that has something to do with that? Because in Canada, they're French. French people can be any shade of anything. I mean, just like the United States, any other country. But do you think that has something to do with why he's dumb? Yeah, I mean, he's young. He's Canadian. He just, I mean, Drake, there's pictures of Drake in blackface. I mean, you know he saying? hasn't I mean, been they're, canceled they're yet. Different. I'm waiting on that one because he should be like Gucci. Yeah, yeah. And um, Daniel Caesar, I just don't have a lot. I don't, he didn't walk it back. He called Joe Button and stood on it like, no, 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 I'm right because of this, this, this. And I just, he didn't shut the fuck up. I don't have any redemptive things to say to him. Except just shut the fuck up, you know. Like, There's like, nothing shut the fuck up. to be said for mm-hmm. him. I mean, I read, you know, I, I read through some of what he was saying. There was nothing really coherent there, so there wasn't really a valid point. He to sounded anything. like a white Republican or a black. Well, I'm sorry, a black Republican. A black, That's what he sounded. Love, 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 kid. Yeah, but, okay. but it was, it was just, it was, it was, it was all, it was all like buzzwords. It was the same tired ass shit. That you that you hear from like uh, you know the Stacy Dashes of, the, of this world, like it was just it was that kind of shit um, that it doesn't really even black Republicans. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. And they gonna stand on they they side, they soapbox. You know, You're you, not you a sound, you, sound, you sound so privileged and so out of touch when you say corny shit like this. So you know what I'm saying? Where is he? As like, a black man, I know I've been blessed more than other black men have been blessed. And at the same time, I can't even fix my mind to think this way because of the things that I have gone through. It is clear that not only have you not gone through any of these things, you haven't even taken the time to put yourself in a position where you would understand someone who has gone through some of these things. And I'm a Harvard graduate, so we're not going to sit here and talk about exposure to privilege. Right or your relative exposure to privilege as opposed to mine. So you're not allowed to use the excuse of ignorance to make these kinds of statements. Right? That's not okay. Right? What? At the end of the day, you're just being an ignorant ass and being presumptive, and you need to stop. It's just that and simple. And that's shut why you up. get the Donald Trump shut, shut up. up stupid award. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> shut up, stupid yeah. motherfucker. Kayate Bendejo. Yeah. Really, 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 fuck really, up. Really, time to shut. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> exactly. I just want somebody to like find out his whole historical, yeah, his everything background, background yeah, to find yeah. out exactly why he said this. Because a lot of the times, I feel like the reason people say this ignorant ass shit is because, like you said, they're born with privilege, mm-hmm, and they mm-hmm. think that everybody oh, I has made it. I made it. Yeah, I yeah, made it so, so you can do and, it too. And, and, and Eric Benson's music sound better than yours, bitch. He's not music. 
He's a singer. He's a black R&B singer. You be, you would probably hear some of his songs and be On like, I like that song. Right. Oh, I'm gonna play some shit for you. You be like, No, not him. Like, yep, him. That's okay. Um, cancel, cancel. Our Andre Ingram Ryan Shine Award goes to um, my older brother Sean Carter, mm -hmm. Jay Z. Aren't you from Hove. DC? Aren't you from DC? I am. That's not your problem. But Hope did that. So hopefully you don't have to go through that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Jay stepped up um, with our, this this is one situation where he needs to step up for the community as he's as we reported every freaking week. This is just a kudos to him because his album Reason uh, Blueprint, excuse me, was just inducted into the Library of Congress. That's like which the is a best very, very album. Yeah, it's up there. It's a very prestigious award. Basically, saying that your recording is, your lyrics are a, a national treasure going forward. So, if the world ended today and people dug up our government a thousand years from now, they would see that Jay Z was a part of that with the album, The Blueprint. It is a huge fucking deal. I don't know of any other rappers who have received this honor. And, um,. I am just very, very happy and proud for my older brother, Jay-Z. Yeah, I mean, kudos to Sean Carter. He, he's done the damn thing. He continues to do the damn thing. He's a role model, icon, idol, um, someone to be emulated, someone someone whose life honestly needs to be studied and whose life needs to be immortalized by like autobiography. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he has turned into not only a pillar of the global community, but a pillar of American society. You know, he's become a true leader in every aspect of the sense that you can come up with. He's always visible because he's a media icon, he's an entertainment celebrity, but he's also a brilliant businessman, entrepreneur, mover, shaker, political power broker. Proof you know that what I'm saying? You don't have to be born into privilege there you to go. make it. There you go, there you go. And proving that you also don't have to ignore racism um, in the process of surmounting and defeating it in your own struggles and your Boom. own life. So shut the fuck up uh, once again, Daniel Caesar. But at any <laughs> at any rate, um, you know, we got to give this kudos and got to give him this prize. Hell yeah, real quick, Shy, I know your generation didn't grow up with Jay-Z. How do you guys view him? I know y'all don't view him the way we do. She got I mean, a Tupac hat on, so we can't talk about it. She she views something. So so, so she, she so she got some history with, with Tupac, her. She so. got some history with her. So you're not the average uh, twenty ish, three year old. Just say ish. ish. <laughs> I'm twenty three. Um, yeah, because my mom she's was young and she liked rap music. Shout so. out to your mom. Indeed. Yeah, she's like thirty nine or whatever. So. I don't know, she just listened to a whole bunch of stuff like Wu-Tang, Tupac, Biggie. She listened to it all, so it's like, I just picked up on it. That's so what do you think about Jay? He's pretty dope, yeah. Okay. Did you, do you know what he's done for the black community, all the things he's done to give back? Do you know? I haven't really did research on him or follow him like from day to day, but I know he, he has given back to black mm -hmm. community. We talked about how Jay-Z does everything quietly, though. Like, yeah. he, he not like, doing it to wear a t-shirt saying, hey, I did this. Beef me up. Like, he he just does it. He did it for 21 Savage. He did it for Meek Mill. Lil um, Wayne. Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne. He did for... The people in Ferguson, the protesters in Ferguson, build them all out of jail. Beyonce, and they did the whole homeless shelter thing. Like, they do everything yeah. quietly, and it's not, to me, given enough props for what they do. Right. Because that's really important for us to know because people always want to, oh, well, MJ didn't do this and Jay-Z don't do that. They got all this money and they not giving back. They don't have to advertise when they give back. To me, somebody that's advertising when they give back, they did it for the publicity, which to me takes away from it. Like we know Bill Gates has to give away so much money every year so he doesn't get the shit taxed out of him. We know that's why he's building all these different schools and giving $5 million in scholarships every year. He's doing it so his money don't get hit. Well, yes, yes and no. Uh, sorry, uh, gangster geek. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, she, she, talking about my Harvard mate, Bill. I got I got to step in. Bill, Bill has been Bill has been an asshole for most of his 
um, corporate career. I mean, he did some horrible, horrible things in the corporate world. Um, so now he has become a philanthropist now that he is retired from Microsoft. And the money that he is spending, um, yes, he does get tax write-offs for it, but at the same time, the, the amount of money that he is spending greatly exceeds any tax breaks that he would see from that. He's truly a philanthropist That's at this point. Know. Yeah, um, that being said, know. but you know, let's keep it 100. Like, he, he was on some fuck shit back in the day when he was running Microsoft. Is he Common Core his fault? Is that shit. legit his fault for Common Core? I mm -hmm. want to know. Is mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Common yeah. Core has caused me great oh, yeah. pain. Yeah. Many tears from my eyes for Common oh, Core. No. So, so Bill Gates is still not. He not in the clear until he fixes that. I didn't say. Shit. I didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say he would be in the clear. I just said, you know, just don't, just don't take all of his. He his, greatly his, exceeding the dollar yeah, amount, yeah. but the headache he causes me, he ain't in the clear he yet. That's rewinding back. That's rewinding back to uh, my big brother, Sean Corey Carter. Jay Z, Hove, Rock Nation in the building, and the Blueprint album being uh, submitted, uh, being picked up by the Library of Congress, which is a very, very big deal. So, Shout out to so, him and everybody involved in Rock because uh, mm -hmm. he didn't do it by himself. Absolutely, it was you know, it was, it was still Dame and Bees, but it, no matter how they feel about each other, it was still Kanye and Just Blaze. It was still uh, Beehive and Lenny S. And Shaka. And don't forget and, his wife, because she no, upgraded and, him. And Beyonce <laughs> for the upgrade. And um, the rest of Destiny's Child and Tina Knowles and Matthew, and Matthew Knowles. Matthew for making Beyonce. And, and little brother knew the mayor for um, him wanting to inspire somebody. I, I, I believe thoroughly if he wasn't trying to inspire me, he wouldn't have reached those heights. So shout out to me. Shout out to me for Jay-Z having the blueprint in the Library of Congress. Shout out to your me. Congratulations. You hear me, Shaq? I hear you. Hey. Can we throw something at him? What? Damn. Why y'all want this on fire? I'm going to be celebrating. Like Moving on. on. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well yes. our playlist. Yes. I wish we were saying around a little bit. We don't ever get to do playlists. Ever, ever, right? Ever. <laughs> Um, uh, right now on the Kickback TV podcast, we have a playlist mm -hmm. of, the, of the new music, and we update it every week. I know uh, Shaz probably dancing to it, um, uh, Nas dancing to it, Tori probably be twerking to it, JB twerking to it. No, Just, no, 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 JB does no twerking. <laughs> that, that does not happen. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Facebook world podcast. He's got everybody. To be clear. We're in Atlanta. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that no, a no. technical or a timeout for a twerk? Uh, <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> she almost saw the bad side, baby. Oh, some almost. <laughs> 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 so that was a technical. Uh, you got to take. I got you get one more, you out the game. Damn. Damn. Violation. Violation. Well, we have new music from uh, Meek Mill, Cardi B. Uh, no Daniel Caesar is on there. Um, but we have some music from uh, Zarika. Zarika? Zarika? Yeah. The guy who sang with uh, Kendrick Lamar. There's some uh, shit. It is a lot of good hip hop and RB. Yo Gotti, Two Chains. Ariana Grande, uh, Chance the Rapper, Kodak Black, Marvin Gaye, who has a new album coming out next week, wow. unreleased. You know, one of his tracks on there. Um, Kelani, um, Her, Summer Walker, Drake. Don't all of the new. Like huh? She's dope. She's dope. I said her. So they, so they would know I was talking about somebody spe specific. As opposed to her, like any female artist. I mean, H E R, her, the, the, the woman who calls herself her. Um, she has a song, um, that, uh, a really nice track on, on the playlist. And we encourage you guys to download it from Spotify or Apple Music. Apple. It is called Kickback TV Playlist. I'm going to say it again. <clears throat> it is called Kickback TV. TV playlist and um, we got some St. John on there 
If we got everything that's popping on that playlist. It's about 20 songs. We update it weekly. So you can go to Apple Music or Spotify, download the playlist, and listen to it this week. And then when Friday hits, it might be brand new music on it. Volume like, you know, one. what'd you say? Volume 1. Yeah, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 30. And Shia's down one again right now. I got most of these songs already. She got most songs already. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm telling you. And she's 23, so the youngins is loving it too. It's not just old people like JB. It's the youngins like Shy too. I'm going to bring you a ruler next week so you can pop him. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Yeah, I know. I'm just playing. We're yeah. the same damn age. <laughs> um, so, JB, lead us into our Netflix and chill La, 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 segments. la, 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 because I still haven't seen Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? We're, we're, we're not going to go. We'll, we'll address it. But, um, All I've been told. It wasn't. Okay, what have you been told? Two endings. Yes. Two endings. And you need to see it before the last installation. Or you will be lost. Yeah, you, That's you, what you, I know. You'll want to see it before Avengers Endgame comes Absolutely. out yes. next month. Yes. Um. Captain Marvel, of course, is, is rumored to be the most powerful Avenger. And when you watch the movie, you get her origin story, and you get an idea of why she's considered that. And you also get an idea of why Nick Fury is paging her, the, the two-way pager. Because all people that have still used two-way pager is like Tori and her friends. No, all of us have stepped up into I'm the I'm not million. a pimp, and I'm not a drug dealer, Whoa. so I'm not using Wait, the two-way. Why, why you got to be evil? You know what? Okay. Because that's what you need a two way for. Shit. How do you, <laughs> how do you know that? Because I got friends. Oh. Um, I did enjoy the movie. Um, it was not the best Marvel movie. I'm not Absolutely. gonna, you know, I'm not gonna see a lot of you say it's my favorite, but it told the story in a way that I was receptive to, and it leads perfectly into Endgame. Mm -hmm. I know JB, I'm gonna throw you out of you. I know you experienced the movie a little bit differently because you brought your daughter out of you. There you go. Perfect alley -oop. Yeah, it was girl power, and I loved every minute of it. Um, my <clears throat> my son was with my ex-wife. He was not with me. Normally, the tradition is that I bring both of my kids to the Marvel movies whenever we go and see them, and my son especially loves them. My daughter particularly loved this movie because you had a female superhero, and she knows the whole Avengers Marvel timeline, so she could see that this this one was the baddest motherfucker in the bunch, you know. Mm -hmm. And she lo she loved that, and I love just just being able to see like her eyes widen and to see her personally enjoy seeing. A female superhero with that kind of power and that kind of influence inside of this world that has literally been a part of her entire life. You got to realize, like the Marvel movies started before she was born. You know, so this is this is like her whole life. Ari is eleven. Yeah, Ari is eleven. So, so, so yeah. So I want to know: is this like an origin situation of like Doctor Strange? Where if you missed the Doctor Strange, you didn't know what the crap was going on in Infinity War? Or is this like origin situation where it was explaining how Iron Man came about? Very good question. Um, yeah. I think it was more about, like more in the Iron Man vein, but the way it ended, it spoke to more of a Doctor Strange where the, the origin story, the first hour and say 10 minutes of the movie was about her origin. You know, and really, it was really just after the you know the credits when they had those special scenes. That's what tied her, what tied her in completely to the Avengers uh, storyline. But there were points throughout the movie that would help you understand why she was tied into the Avengers. So I think that you need to see it so that you totally grasp who she is. I firmly believe that, but uh, I don't. I think if you if you missed it, maybe you could guess and. Infer and predict some things. I recommend seeing it though. I think you, you have to see. To it. me, like when you, Marvel stuff comes out, you're supposed to just flat out binge watch everything all the way over again from start to finish, so that you understand what the crap is going on. Yeah. Maybe because not, yeah, it can't, I, I can't do that every time. You can, you can. Skip, I can watch the last two. You can, movies. you can skip like the first Incredible Hulk and watch the second one. You can skip the first Thor and watch Ragnarok and understand. 
You cannot skip Doctor Strange. Uh, Black Panther's hit or miss. Like, you kind of need to watch that, but he was in Infinity War, and he was in, like, the first Avengers movie. Well, no, he was in, uh, oh. he was in, uh... Spider-Man. Uh, he was in, um... Uh, Civil War. He was in Captain America. He was in Captain Civil America. Civil War, um, which was yeah. a critical movie. So um, you can kind of skip it because, like, when you go back and you watch Black Panther, like, you see and everything. Now, I skip Ant Man. I did skip the, Ant Man, like, and I skipped second, Ant Man and the Wasp. No, Ant Man and, 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 and the Wasp, we actually should see. It'll shed light. What yeah. they've done. But I, so I, I legit just watched Ant Man and Ant Man and the Wasp, and I don't feel like I missed anything when I went to go watch anything. Yeah, so but Ant Man and the Wasp kind of explains why he wasn't in it, Infinity War. Yeah. And then explains his role in the next movie. The ending, ending the ending of Ant Man. But that, that's and how Wasp most of them are. That's explained. how most of them are. The ending explains it. So, that's how most of them are, though. But you could, like, you could legit, if you're going to binge it and you're going to skip. Don't first, skip. Don't skip. I agree, don't skip. But if you skip and you miss Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp, the first, the first Thor and the first Incredible Hulk, you'll be okay. The views uh, spoken right now represent Tory Grace and do not represent Kickback TV podcast. So Thank you. I think See, you need it's to watch like them. both Ant-Man oh. movies. Nah, I don't. I don't think you. Mm. They gotta see them both. Yeah, per, I saw. They gotta see everything. Like per, week, yeah, first week before. Per, except the Hulks. I don't think you need to watch the Incredible Hulks. Yeah, no, I no, that, you gotta watch think, the Hulks because you have to understand where his mentality went and why he couldn't get himself together in Avengers: Infinity War. You mm. have to watch those. You can't skip those. Hmm, that's that's that insane. That's an interesting. Yes, Those are the only two Marvel movies mm-hmm. I haven't seen. Either they're good balls. You who, need to go back and watch them. Who ironically so look, has become my favorite, the character I identify with the most. You need to go back and watch them. But he it's wasn't been, my favorite until I watched Especially Thor Ragnarok. I watched that. So you need to go back and watch the The only thing I haven't seen Hulk. is the two Hulks. And when I say two Hulks, You I mean, can skip the did. first one. Okay. That one, it was not the best. It was okay. So who was David Banner, or not David, Bruce Banner? David Banner, David Banner. Get down on the floor. On the, that, that no, one. no, who, no. Who was, who, which? The Hulk second movie? one. You need to watch the second one. Who was, the, who was Bruce Banner? I don't Norton? remember what his name that is. That's the Ed Norton one or the other one? Yeah, that's the Ed Norton one. To watch that this, one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll so, watch it tonight. I got five stick. I'll watch it tonight. Yeah. Um. You can skip Ant-Man and Wasp and Ant-Man. No, I'm sorry, you can. Like, if you can go YouTube the ending for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Well, well you can skip Ant-Man. Deadpool. I didn't even watch Deadpool. Deadpool has nothing to do with them. Yeah. Deadpool. Well, I, I enjoy it, though. But, I mean, so movie. far, where is he tied in? Like, he I haven't seen him pop why. up in He's more Deadpool. on the uh, uh, X-Men side. Yeah, he's, on, he's side. in an alternate timeline, too. Um, so that's not even going to blend in right now. So no, it is not. No, to get ready for not. Endgame, you need to watch everything. Yeah, so you're talking... You're talking uh, Three Captain America movies, three Iron Man movies, three Thor movies, two Hulk movies, uh, about six Spider Man movies, which only need oh. to catch the first. Uh, you need only need to catch Spider Man Homecoming. Um, you got the, the yeah. last two Spider Man movies, which featured him. It's Unfortunately, and something else. Yeah, and then, yes, two movies. Yes, and then, yeah. And then you need to. You, you need also the, need to catch. You also Ant-Man. need to catch uh, Ant Man and Ant Man and, and the Wasp, and you also need to catch Guardians of the Galaxy. The second one, 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 two, one, one, two, one two. and two, but definitely the second one. Mm-hmm. That'll that'll. And the No Breaks Mini movie on Vimeo. Me and JB watched that. Yeah. Two. Now you see, I only I only named what fifteen movies mm-hmm. at about mm-hmm. two hours and five minutes apiece. So you're looking. Oh, at and two movies. Avengers movies. Oh yeah, I forgot. About and that. I and, and I'll say this, and I'm just going to be. But I always say that I believe Captain America are and Avengers mm-hmm. are Avenger movies. Yeah. So I look at Captain America. I don't think he has his own three. People disagree with me, and that's fine. But I look at Captain America that's movies and Avenger movies all are the same. So I look at there are Avenger movies, and Captain America does not have movies. But that's my own personal. But when theory. you go back and you watch him, you watch the Captain America, and you see how heavy he is in Avengers. So you have to watch all of oh, them. In Germany, said Dark World is very important. I believe Dark World is a Thor movie. Mm-hmm. So Jeremy said, "No, you gotta watch all the Thor movies." That's, uh, 
Uh, or at least what said, all three of them. Dark World and Ragnarok. Um, well, you, have to, you, you have need to, to watch, watch Ragnarok because Ragnarok explains a big, huge gap of time yeah. that yeah. doesn't make sense. But they just all, watch they all explain a gap of time because they're taking these gaps. But you Even explain, Ant Man of, Ant -Man explain of Oz explains a huge gap. Ant Man of Oz explains a huge gap of time. Not to me. Did like, you watch the ending I credit? I did. I watched I'm going to tell you, Ant Man of, in, in the Oz movie. Um, everybody was vaporized by Thanos, and Ant Man was still trapped in the alternate universe. And when he finally got out, he wanted to come out in the eighties to the beginning of the Avengers. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't watch Ant Man and the Wasp. You wouldn't even know that they disappeared. But you I gotta watch it, Ant -Man and, and I'm, I didn't watch it before I went to go see Infinity War, which is why I'm. But it's after Infinity War. It's 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 what follows Infinity War. I know, but I'm saying like I just watched it the other day. So when I went to go see Infinity War, I was set up. It, like but I that sets you up for end game, not for Infinity War. It does it set, set you, you up for the end next game. movie. It does set you up for end game. So, so I'm right. Gotta, I'm right. Kinda. <laughs> That's why I said, like you, I'm saying, like legit. The only thing you need from Ant Man and the Wasp is literally the ending. That's it. Not the first ending, the second ending. Mm -hmm. The Collector. I'm assuming this is another Thor movie. Jeremy says it talks about the origin of the stones, so you have to watch, I guess, all of the Thor movies. Yes, absolutely. Jeremy said, Tori, he disagreed. Well, yeah, I mean, boom. In, in Thor one, you you learn Thor where the Tesseract boring, no. comes from. You do need that. And, and, I mean, well, you don't. Well, I'm, you, you do. Look, but I'm just gonna tell theory. you. I own all of the Dagon Mark movies. Period. I own them all. When Disney comes out right before Dagon, what is it? I go on vacation in June. I think in May is when Disney's gonna come out with their streaming service. I will be taking out the streaming service because of the Marvel movies. Now, I watch all the other Disney stuff, but the Marvel movies is why I'm going to take out the streaming service. Because Marvel and Pixar is enough to subscribe to the Disney service. Right. That's like, bump right everything there. else. I don't care. Like, yeah. I just need to be able to see my Marvel movies. Because I can't see me subscribing to the long term. Oh, I can. With, uh, do you know how much content is gonna be on there? Yeah. They're gonna no. How much is it? Because Netflix got they a said whole it's ton gonna, of they shit. They said it's gonna be right around the same cost as Netflix and Hulu. But wait a minute, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, when I say so. Marvel, you're gonna have all the X Men shit, all the X Men, because that's from us when we were kids. Like that X Men cartoon that used to come on Saturday mornings. That's yeah, that'll be there. Yes, because oh, it's sold. Marvel. Sold. <laughs> it's sold. Marvel. Disney took all their stuff. They're pulling everything off Netflix. Luke Cage mm. is getting a reboot. Um, mm. yes, they're Luke, everything. Oh, is so it's gonna back. be original content, like new content. Yeah. Oh that's shit. Why I'm like, no. Okay, okay, y'all, y'all know what I'm like, saying. Luke I get I get the Donald Trump shit super movie. Everything, <laughs> everything. I was sitting here like, and you know, none of that shit is gonna be on everything, Netflix when they come out. Right, right. and when right. people were like, "Oh my God, they canceled this, they canceled it, they canceled Iron Fist, they canceled it." It's not really canceled. It's getting a reboot on Disney's oh, server. Shit. It's not canceled. I'm gonna have to find a girlfriend again. I'm gonna get girlfriend if they ever get that. But I got Netflix. Boo! Don't get Netflix, boo. You get. Um, uh, Mar uh, Disney. Jeremy said that um, Ant Man and the Wives talks about the quantum realm, which is important for Endgame. And he said the possibility of time travel without without the time stone. Because mm -hmm. Tori didn't know we could travel without the time stone. I knew that right. cause I no, done because I've gone back in time up. and I fucked running my rope. I did. Whatever. I did. So, no, I, I did. So, but my thing is, like, even with that. Even with that knowledge, we already know that Doctor Strange knew something else was going on without even watching. Yeah, because you said that because that he that said that everything that's that happening is happening for a reason. So even why, if you don't you watch Ant Man, you, you still you know like that? that something is possible. Why does he look like that right now? Yeah, because he's crazy. That's what he did in the movie. Fuck it, that's what he did in the movie. Yes, that's so what he did. You only have to do it though. I think we need to plan for an outing to go watch Endgame. Oh, we're going, we're going, we're going, we are going as a family. We will be in Endgame. We have done that. We went with the Black Panther with our dashikis on. I went for my birthday. It was like 90. It was my birthday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So we were terrible. 
We were terrible and we had flask. Endgame is my birthday. So in April. Let's do a birthday, birthday outing. We'll do a birthday outing. And we're also going to do our birthday dance back, which is not a kickback, it's a dance back where you are required to dance. We or cannot come in out. And, and hang out. You have to come in and dance. We're going to play uh, dance hall music so you can whine. We're going to play slow songs so you can grab. We're going to play go go so you can freak. We're going to play traps so you can twerk. This is a dance party. Niggas can't come in and ladies can't come in if you're not willing to dance. Go home. Don't come in. And Don't just so you know, and I'll, I'll give you more details about my dance back B day party. We'll talk about that beginning of April. But moving on mm -hmm. uh, to our Netflix. Uh, actually, let's go straight to. We'll come back to. We'll, we'll, let's just really quickly. There's a new movie coming out with J Lo, Cardi B, and Kiki Palmer, and they're playing strippers. I'm gonna watch it because they're gonna be twerking at the dance back and I'm smacking asses and shit. So I'm gonna watch it. You gonna smack and get slapped just like huh? that dude did on what? the train? What? What? I'm gonna give him a mission first. <laughs> then I'm gonna choke him. And then I'm gonna get <laughs> And we gonna tell a show. Pardon me, man. Oh. your ass, please. Thank you. Don't you? <laughs> we gonna tell a show. No. We gonna tell a show. No, bad babe, babe. This is all for TV. It's all for the podcast, boo. I can see it now. Pardon me, madam, but man, please smack your ass. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Very the much. The slight jiggle of <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, uh, shit. Um, okay, our question of the week. And this is a good question because <sighs> we got shy here. And she's uh, 23. You gonna do a question of the week or we gonna um, do sports? Because if we talk about this, we gonna be on for the rest of the night. I really quickly sports. Uh, <laughs> like Mike really Trout sports? just signed the richest contract in the history of professional baseball. A history it's of professional sports. sports. Yeah. Four hundred thirty million dollars over what? Twelve, 12 years. years. Mm -hmm. That's a whole. I should play baseball. That is just a ridiculous oh, amount of money, yo. Soccer, badminton. And that's not even play including some shit. Like all the advertisement gigs he's gonna get. He, oh, his old God. Spice gonna sign him. He gonna be the deodorant dude. Mm -hmm. He gonna be selling pizza with Shaq. Yeah. He I gonna mean, be selling yeah. hot dogs. Yeah. Nathan's hot dogs gonna get a whole new face. They gonna get the richest contract any athlete has ever signed in the history of the world happened in 2019. And if you are listening to this podcast, you just heard. You are in the know. You are a part of the generation or generations that have witnessed one athlete earn $430 million for so, his career. I got a question because, like, I'm kind of baseball, kind of not. Where is he from? Is he from the United States or mm -hmm. is he from, like, Oh, yeah. No, he's, I, I don't he's, he's, baseball. He's, def he's definitely American. Okay. And he's, been, he's been a phenom in the league since he got into the league. He was highly touted when he first entered the league, and he's broken, I don't know, at least at least two or three records since he entered the league. He is a star. If anybody deserves that kind of money, it would be him, because he's a bad motherfucker. There's no question about it. No question about it. People are thinking that he might be one of those that might legit actually break the home run record. Like, it is saying like, like he's an all-time great already. Mm -hmm. like, he's not this promising prospect like, because a lot of times in Shy's generation, they give people money for promise. And that's why she's so messed up in the head. Because she thinks that her promise or her potential is the end result. No. You got to do the work, Shy, and become great. And then you get Yeah, I know that part. That's yeah. Thanks. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Shy made the best chicken in North America. I'm just joking. Just joking. Chicken? Yeah, she made some great chicken. I want some chips. We're going to have a kickback cookout? Yes, my birthday. The dance, <laughs> the dance back. We're going to eat and Shaq going to make all the chicken. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, yes, we're going to pay you with love. I will supply the chicken if you cook it. Okay. Good night. Don't you know how this works? I, yes, I do. That's, that's our arrangement. Supply the food and then bring the chef. What do you drink? I like wine. I like gin. I like red wine. Red, sweet, Merlot. Yeah, sweet. Chinese, okay. pretty good. That's what you gotta put in the kitchen. Oh, that's you what you do. Have a girl come cook and you don't offer her 
drinks while she's in the kitchen cooking, especially oh, oh, fried I'm, chicken. I'm do that. What are you thinking? I'm, I'm an Avenger. I know better. <laughs> um, so moving on to our question of the week. Is marriage still desirable? Oh. I want to start. Actually, I'm going to start with Shy. Actually, Shy, since you, you're the baby here, Shy, get, get on the sofa. Give her something. Because I want to know what your thoughts are more than I, because I know our generation, even though I'm a little bit older than both JB and Tori, because you know, I'm 57, but I look amazing. Um, I want to know what you think, your generation. Speak for the children. Is marriage still a desirable option? No. No. Because, like, marriage, well, it's been going on for years. And Speak up. Marriage has been going on for years, and it's like there's always a flop. People my age don't want to go through the flop. The, I know I particularly don't. The want flop? To the flop, like dealing with the ups and downs, like, oh, mm. he's cheated, she cheated. But that's a relationship, so I you don't want to be in a that. relationship? I understand that, but my generation is just like, yeah, we're just over here having sex, we're drinking, we're doing this. Whatever. So what yes. about the stability portion that comes on later? Well, I have that in mind. So you just gonna live your life and you just gonna die and that's it? <laughs> that's how most people I know see it. Like I would like to go through the ups and downs and better each other and see what we can get out of this world, but not everybody see that. Cause I like mm. I don't see a purpose and point in being in a relationship with somebody for ten plus years if you're not married. Before before you go to Tori, I wanna I'll, that is what I've been seeing from that generation, right. the millennials. And I, I think it's important to highlight that for a second. I want to get you, you and JB's thoughts on that, that the millennials are like, fuck mm -hmm. a marriage. We're not with that shit. Like, what, the, what, are you, what, what do you guys think? What's the point in getting into a relationship then? If that's like, that's my question. If you don't see it 10 years from now, what's the point in saying, oh, that's my boyfriend? Just See, do now, now I'll say I'll say this. When I was younger, I didn't mind that. At forty two, I'm like, I'm not getting into no relationship with an ain't going nowhere. I, we can fucking hang out, but I'm not gonna get into a relationship. But I think what she's saying is she's not getting into a relationship. They just fucking and chilling. They're not making commitments to each other. They just fucking and chilling. They're not like, you're my girl, I'm your man, and we together. Fuck me, I can get married. And I mean I get that. Am, am I right? I get that. But so then that's something that at some point in time you don't feel like okay I'm gonna need some help at some no, they point don't. in time. No, well, 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 well Sha, do you feel that way? Yeah, I feel like uh, people my age, my generation don't ask the what if questions or try to get to know each other all the way instead of just you know we just living it and out forever. Yeah, um, I can just do. I I can see where that train of thought would come from in a, in a couple of different aspects. Number one, um, millennials have lived through um, the highest divorce rate um, in world history over the last uh, 25 years. Mm. Um, every developed country in the world sees divorce rates well above 50%. When I say well above 50%, I'm talking 52, 54, 55. Uh, the US was as high as 57%. So. Most of you guys have grown up in families where your parent, your parents were either divorced or never married, right. right? So you know it's just not a part of that the the paradigm. You know you don't see it as important to raise a child in a married household because a lot of you weren't. You know it's it's just that simple. That being said, um, there's an unfortunate thing that I think is missing from that, and I, I think that as you guys get older and as your needs kind of change in life, you'll see the need for a partnership. And that's yeah, where right. that's where marriage will really start to kind of, yeah, yeah, and, like kick in. And the reason for that, like once you hit 50, if you catch some kind of illness, regardless of what it may be, or you break your toe, you break your foot, <laughs> like who's supposed to help you? Like you can't, you can't be a single "I can do this forever by myself" type of person, regardless if you male or female. Like you can't do it forever by yourself. It just doesn't work like that. And your dog is not gonna be able to help you out forever. And by dog, I legit mean an animal. 
at some particular point in time you're going to need some help so you can't decide at 60 i'm gonna marry somebody for help because guess what state of georgia doesn't recognize anything less than 10 years you get married at 60 person dies at 65 guess what you left with nothing you ain't getting no kind of assistance uh you ain't getting social security you're not getting a stipend of any kind and that's male or female so i don't understand what is the purpose and point of dating if you're not looking at long term especially if you have children if you are good enough to make a baby with then why aren't you good enough to be married if you're gonna make a baby so somebody can love you forever that's the wrong reason to have a child you're supposed yeah. to have a child with somebody because you care about them now this is coming from a single mother right now this is legit coming from a single mom there's no way in hell if i had thought that my children coming about would be a oh we just having some babies i wouldn't have had kids that's not how you want to have children my parents were married for 35 years no it was not pleasant and it was not pleasant because one person wanted to be an asshole uh -oh. now <laughs> I don't see the purpose and point in having kids if you're not trying to give them the best foundation possible. What's the purpose and point? Because you're still stuck with this person. It's not 18 years like everybody, well, I'm only stuck with her ass 18. Nah, you stuck with that person for the rest of your child's life. Period. Yeah, which is the so, rest of so your So, Tori, is marriage still desirable to you? To me, even though I have been fucked over, yeah, I, I am still a hopeless romantic. I am hoping that one day I will find somebody that understands where I'm coming from. At the end of the day, family is the biggest thing to me. And to secure your family is to be married. I don't feel that my children are secure right now in me not being married. And that's why I, I, I know there are people that would disagree with that. Um, based on common law, uh, what, what is, what, what's it called when you do common, common law? Now. Common, common law, law is not acknowledged in Georgia. Oh, so, shit. Well, there you go. So, so common, so. five, it used to be, what was it? It's five years. Five years ago? Five years? No, 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 no. It was longer than that. Let's see. Hold on. Let me do the math. 06 through 2006. In 2009 in Georgia, 2009, 2010, common law was taken out in Georgia. Hold on, I'm going to tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. If you are same-sex relationship, they will acknowledge it. But mm -hmm. me and you, if we decided, oh, we're going to be common law, state of Georgia's like, nope, get married, bitches. Mm -hmm. So, at the time, what was it? Uh, gay marriage was legalized three years ago in Georgia. Gay marriage was legalized and as common law in Georgia. Now you can get married, but same-sex relationships, unless you are legally married, it is not acknowledged for common law. So you and I could live together for 10 years, and even though we are paying each other's bills, Georgia does not recognize us as being in a relationship. Mm. So for our children, they're fucked over. Okay, and I'm so, tell so, you you why. so you so you you see it as more of a, a business. Now I want to belittle it to a business. It's movie, a business but contract. A business but, but what about the love aspect? Do you think you need marriage for love? Mm. Maybe not. I think so in order for it to be long term. Because after 30 years of dealing with somebody, if they just getting on your damn nerves, if you don't have a reason to stay, you're going to be like, fuck it, I'm out. JB, you be, you're the only one on the panel who's actually been married. So um, what are your thoughts on marriage in 2019? Um, <clears throat> I think that uh, marriage has a variety of different advantages, but um, it is a lifelong contract and one that should not be entered into lightly. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to be very, very careful in who you choose as your partner. Uh, the same way same you need to the same, the same way you same way you need to be careful when you choose partners in business. You need someone who has integrity and someone who always lives up to their word. Um, it's really just that simple. Um, now, as Tori mentioned, being married, and again, you know, we had a little financial panel last week. Um, I don't want to get into it too much, but being married has a variety of 
financial advantages that are significant. And when I say significant, I mean really, really, really significant. The year I got married, I saw my net income increase by about 15%. Just because I got married, no, no raise, no, no extra, nothing. But Your that tax, tax return, was even different. ooh, that mm -hmm. tax return was lovely. Shit. Boy. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute, so, Tori, will you marry me? We start. No. <laughs> yeah, I got two kids. You ain't got none. Got you got to, to have a whole got to travel like a yeah. I'm trying to get some tax breaks. Um, you know, get, I mean, it's a hell of a tax break. Like it's, those it's are a, things that people aren't looking at. Like yeah, significant tax savings. Um, it's also it's also your credit takes a huge jump when you get married or um, default, yeah. depending on what the person you marry. Oh well, and there's shit that. Like. There, that's why I go back to the first statement: choose your partner <laughs> carefully. <laughs> yeah, 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 choose your partner carefully because that 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 income now becomes. A uh, part of your income because now you have a joint income which means that your DDE ratio your debt to earnings ratio will will drop again provided that you and the woman you choose have been taking care of yourselves financially um, so that's another clear advantage you also have opportunities to build greater wealth because you can take out life insurance against um, each other and build wealth within and the context of life insurance policies. Well, you exactly. can, you can, but doing it by yourself it? is not nearly as significant as doing it as, as a married couple. Because again, the fact that you're married and men, this is very important. Statistically, married men live longer. Don't. Don't try and argue with me because it's I'm going to tell you. I don't know how because, because we're going to try. No, no, I'm going to tell you why. If you get sick, do you go to the doctor? Yes. Well, I'm I'm an old man. I didn't go when I was 20. I go in my I 40s now. Most men do not go to the doctor when they get sick. So in order to have your wife shut the hell up, you're going to go to the doctor. I guarantee mm. you. My parents divorced. I was an adult when they divorced. They were married for 35 years. My dad died, and to me, it's because he wasn't married to my mama. Because my mother would have never let his ass get sick. My mother was the woman, the nurturer. She was like, all right, everybody got to set your doctor's appointments. We got to go. Oh, you not I feeling agree. well? Oh, something something ain't, yeah. something ain't popping right. You doing something different. You ain't acting right. Go to the doctor. My mother never would have let my dad get to the point where he was sick with his cancer that he would have just declined the way that he did if he had stayed married to my mom. So it's I, I work. agree with you because I um I only started going to the doctor because uh, you know unfortunately my mother passed when she was forty, so I took my health a little bit differently than I do most niggas. And I got a lot of homies that don't go get checkups or physicals. Most they, guys, they be chilling. most guys will you not go so to the I doctor do unless it's like I, some I, I, I agree with some you. fungus agree. growing on the yeah. outside of their arm, and they're like, oh shit, I can't cover this yeah, up. It took special special circumstances for me to. Start going to the doctor, and that's that's just because my mother died so young, you know, at forty, you know, what I'm saying that's young, 42. that's young as hell. Yeah, when I turned forty, I got pregnant, so I, so I've been, you know, so that's so why you, you yeah, that's it's why. it's just that's how a man would last longer because normally he gonna be like, oh shit, fuck it, I'm, I can I can handle this. I'm a man. I'm well, tough. That, that's not that's not putting it all on the men. Women. A lot of women don't want to get married. You see what Sha said? Sha said she, she didn't want to get married. She's going to thot in the streets. Right, Sha? So, first of all, I didn't say I wanted to thot in the streets. <laughs> so, what, what I was saying was really for me, I want to get myself together before I try to be in a relationship and move forward with somebody. And, and that, that makes that's sense. For that, generation. that makes that's total great. sense. That like, you don't want to. My mom got married at 19. My mom married my dad when she was 19 years old. That's a whole different situation. Me at 19 was different from my mom at 19. Me at 19, back in the day, you had to hurry up and get married. My mom, oh, my dad was born in 48. My mom was 52. Back then, in 1952, it was a whole different situation than what it is in 2019. A woman can go get a job and take care of herself. But you can still only take care of yourself to a certain extent because you're a woman. It's not saying you can't do it. It's just, oh, okay. Go move your car 15 feet across the thing by your damn self. Go change your tire by yourself. You are not equipped with what a male has. It's not saying you can't do it. You can figure it out, especially if you have to, but what for? So, is marriage still desirable? To me, 
I still want to get married even though I've been shitted on multiple times. Because Would you be healthy in that marriage? Knowing that you've been shitted on multiple times? Yeah, because I'm aware of what to look for and what to deal with and what to handle. That could be cancerous. To maybe not I'm, you, but certain people who... Cause you so can you it. don't get in a relationship if you're still hurt. That's what you do. Boom. High five. I'm glad she put it that I, I couldn't have said it better. That's myself. male that or female. Perfect. Don't so get into no, a was, relationship if you're still hurt. No, so that was JB? perfectly put. But yeah, I, I completely agree with what Tori said. I, like I said, I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, marriage has an incredible amount of benefits. Um, of benefits. It just the just the personal level of security that it brings um, is amazing and worth it. Human beings are social creatures, um, which is why the institution of marriage has lasted as long as it has, even though, you know, it's somewhat dying in 2019. I think it still it's has dying. significant value. Yeah, and JB, this is what I want to do. We're going to close the podcast on Facebook and YouTube, but I want you to fix that so that we are starting a, 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 a final segment on the podcast. Yeah, I got you. So... Thank you for tuning in on YouTube and on Facebook and Facebook, uh, what is it, Watch, Facebook Watch, whatever it's called. I want to thank you for tuning in. We're going to sign off now. We're here every Sunday night live on Facebook and every Monday on YouTube. And if you want the additional content, you're going to have to go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Christian Mingle, any podcast site. So I'm going to get up right now. I'm going to stop the video portion. Any last words to the audience before we go into our oversight? Make sure you follow us on all of our social media. Absolutely. Kickback TV Podcast. Kickback TV Podcast. And you'll see my personal uh, links. You'll see Tori's links. You'll see JB links. And Shy, Shy is just a, a stowaway. She's like a, a baron. She's like the... the uh, the, uh, I'm gonna bring uh, a ruler next week. She sees the Deadpool to our Avengers and our X Men. Deadpool. So we are out of here. And um, JB, while I'm handling this, let's get back to is marriage still desirable? I'm gonna use uh, yeah, we, an we know business wise it makes sense. I'm gonna use me as an example. But in a relationship, does it make much sense to her? So my dad. You can love without marriage, right? My dad divorced my mom. Well, my mom divorced my dad. Let me put it that way. So my mom filed the paperwork. I'm not gonna take it away from her. It was. What up, Meek? I see Meek watching. So my mom filed to divorce my father. My father got cancer. My father was married to somebody for two years. Well, I'm sorry, not even two years. He died before that hit two years. So guess what that means?